Oh, what I'm doing? I'm just lurking on the new merch. I know you've been lurking on the site trying to figure out what you want. All this, this is coming. These shirts, these hats, by the time you see this, guess where they'll be? On the site. Just do it. You know you want to buy it. I don't care how much you've bought. This is new to me, so it's new to you. Do you want the hookup? Use the promo code. I'm not telling you how much the promo code is for, because you have to do some work too. Nah, for real. Go to the website and get you some of this, bro. This is made out of that good soft t-shirt material. We got t-shirts made out of t-shirt material, and we got jogging pants made out of jogging pants material. Look at this. This is crazy. That is so dope. Plus, you need to switch it up a little bit. You, I'm telling you, step your t-shirt and your hat game up. You already got all the design in the world, but this is black owned. And if you buy it, it'll still be black owned because you black, right? Well, if you're not, buy something black owned. White people haven't been supporting black owned businesses. That's why we started this one. But now that we here, you can buy something too. Just wear it around the house if you're not comfortable enough. Whatever. It's just stupid. It's stupid. Hey, I'm Carlos Miller. Are you tired of not knowing what to cook when you're stressed for time? HelloFresh can make it simple. You get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. HelloFresh offers 10 to 20 minute meals, low prep recipes, and quick breakfasts and lunches, perfect for your busy schedule. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 85South12 and use the code 85South12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. You know, because when I order my chicken and rice and lambs and raviolis and sesame beef tacos and things of that nature, they come right to the crib ready to go. HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need with customizable orders every week. You can easily change your delivery dates or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. So if you want to be cool like me, go to HelloFresh.com. Going slow so you don't mess it up. Use the code 85 south 12 12 free meals on me. It's crazy. You ain't, you know. I feel like I'm smart as fuck right about No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you still are you. No, you're, you're smart, not. Nigga. No, you're, you're not. Big words today, nigga. No, you're not. <laughs> Don't do that. No, no you're that. not. No, you're not. Look at y'all, boy. This is the reunion, boy. What? Where you been? I've been here. You lying, bro. Ain't been here. There's you. I be like, yo, I be all in the DM low, what's up? Bro, I don't talk to nobody wife in my DM, man. Nigga, that was not a wife then. <laughs> that shit's a scene. Whatever. <laughs> Beautiful morning. I've been watching TV like a motherfucker lately. Me too. Oh, I've been watch. watching all like the royal stuff. The what? Kill royal. Like the British time. Oh, you keep it up with that shit. What you call it? Oh, we're gonna get. Hold up, don't talk about it yet. I'm gonna get your opinion on that shit. I'm gonna get your opinion on oh, that shit. Man. I know Clayton English got an opinion about the royal family. Mm. Oh, man. I don't even mention them because they've been spamming me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm be so smart. Who? What it takes for the queen to die? Stop saying stuff like that. Stop saying stuff like that. Stop saying stuff like that. What it take? Stop saying stuff like that. Stop saying stuff like that. Stop saying stuff like that. Yeah, for a long time. Just stop playing. Yeah, and the dad is still here too. Everybody laugh. And he'll be a hundred next week. That's a healthy. That's a healthy family. They do what they do. Drink blood or some shit. I don't know. They got white people secrets. For real. White people secrets. White people secrets. You know they got all them white people secrets. Erica! What's up, man? I'm excited. Erica the Duchess. I'm excited. The Duchess. No, they cannot right. trust What's been going on in the world? Clayton, no. What you talking about? You got me a list of current events. I gotta get Erica the Duchess to give me some updates on the outside world. Oh, yeah, you know I know. Oh, oh, uh, you talking about the Nike shit? 
push all with the little boy selling all them Nikes. And now they talking about the sneakers that got by some all that bullshit. Mm. Anyway, I talking about what the mama was the um, mm. vice president. Vice president. She knew what the fuck going on. Hey, oh, too. today. It's your name on the LLC. Oh, come on now. She know what the hell going Things on. Things white people do. She just said your And they act come. like it ain't no sneakers. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's literally none. Nigga. They're just pictures. It's all a figment of your imagination. You <laughs> never, no sneakers, you though. You never seen anybody wear the sneakers that you were trying to buy. Come on, man. Where, where Nick, if you got the sneakers you want to buy in the store, like, I, that shit didn't happen to me in the last three years, maybe four or five times. Mm-hmm. I just thought random sneaker shit. Like, shit. Yeah. Oh. You got small sizes. Oh, yeah. But they drive I'm about to make it. Some spaghetti. I hope you can make it over. What's <laughs> wrong with that nigga, man? I don't know. Are you coming over for spaghetti? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh-uh. So you're not gonna come over for any spaghetti? <laughs> Why am I wasting time making spaghetti? If nobody wants any fucking spaghetti. Let me get the water. Put your fucking water to get your spaghetti. What the water is that? Not in that bag, lady. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? I ain't gonna make it. Bro, I ain't gonna make it. We ain't even started. I know. This nigga is retarded. Get a water. Man. Get a juice. You want? Man, you I got a juice? coffee. I, I got a coffee right here. I got my little coffee. You got coffee. coffee. Who asked for the water? He did. He got you it. You want a juice? I want, I don't want a juice. You know you want a juice. Oh, no. I'll have the juice. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Seems like the party's picking up, so I guess I'll have a juice now. <laughs> juice is for everyone. <laughs> everyone, juice, juice, please. Somebody pass give me cap- a Capri Sun. I need to change the clothes. I guess they passed the Capri Sun. I know, man. That's hoodie, all man. I watch. Give me that bitch. And that's my kitchen. mama. That's all my mama oh, watch. Oh, that's the all I what? watch. She like watch me. Give me mine, but I love them though. My husband got me watching all the killer, killer shit. Though. Y'all be watching murder mysteries together? Yes. Yes. Don't come in here stunning on us with a good ass relationship. I mean. In here happy and shit. I mean. These just sweats though. Don't yell at me, girl. I don't know who you think I am. <laughs> sweats. Having sex under the moonlight. Who is that, Bala? What, by any means? This is Carlos Miller shit. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Cat, I'm gonna have to see you in a minute. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Bring some more tape. Cat tape. Oh, y'all changing shirts? Oh, yeah, I'm changing shirts. I got options in my life. Yeah, I do too, but I ain't going to get them. My bad. Yeah, man, appreciate you. Hold on. The full Mr. Rogers. Who you ain't? You. Hey man, throw me a beanie. Change your shoes. <laughs> you gotta change I, your shoes. I put a hole in everything. <laughs> you gotta change your shoes. Oh yeah. I ain't bring no more shoes. Ah, Somebody retrieve the shoes. You gotta do a full Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Welcome back to the 85 seconds. <laughs> I'm here with you to change your clothes. Did y'all go see that movie? Movie. Girl, that could have been any movie. Uh-uh, Mr. Roger got a new movie, like, up-to-date movie. Tom Hanks? Yeah. yeah. About his life. Welcome yeah, to yeah, about his life, yeah. yeah. Cat worked on it. <laughs> Cat worked on it. <laughs> yeah, Los, they wanted me to work on that. <laughs> Mr. Roger's ass shit. Some little shit. Yeah, hey, I like that sweater, too. Yeah, there you go. Get that merch. I got y'all some gifts too. What you bring us? My shirts. I think you need to come out with your own line of thigh dice. Thigh dice, yeah. You know what? I get a lot of attention when I go to the airport with that shirt on. I do. You got a shirt? Give me a shirt. What kind of shirt? Yeah, give me a shirt. <clears throat> advertise. We got to advertise. Got to advertise. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, yeah, if Capri Sun don't reach out to us, we're gonna switch to Kool-Aid Gems. Y'all wanna switch to Kool-Aid Gems? 
I switched the Kool-Aid at my house. Kool-Aid jammers. Mm-hmm, the jammers. In the, in the little plastic. In the tube? Yeah, in the tube. No, and then they still make that? Yeah. I ain't know they make that still. Trust me, it's a strategy. They gonna well, you know back. how they doing all the low fat stuff now. You gotta make your own Kool Aid. Oh, what I do? Put this on the Do y'all vote to switch to Kool Aid? Jarrah. Vote for Kool Aid. Jarrah, cause Capri Sun ain't hit us back. Capri Sun has not hit us back in time and fashion, so we will be switching to Kool Aid. Have you spoke with the Capri family? Have you spoken with Kool Aid yet? <laughs> Did Kool-Aid hit us back? <laughs> Kool-Aid? <laughs> I would like to speak with Kool-Aid. Hello, Kool-Aid. Hello, Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid. I, I would like to speak with you, Kool-Aid. <laughs> I have an Alaska idea. somewhere, somewhere crazy, right? I think me and Kool-Aid should get some money sometime this year. Dear Kool-Aid, are you listening to what I am saying? I have a proposition for you. And I'm not playing. Ooh. We can get money. Ooh. If you like want to. like the band in the pool. And that's going to be on the other one. Oh, oh it's right now. There we go. He, that, Hello, took it. there will be no loss today. You will get this voice the entire time. Fuck you guys. Please don't do that shit. Shut up, Clayton. They must, <laughs> they must understand how valuable I am. Don't do don't do it to them. They don't understand. <laughs> Having loss is a privilege. <laughs> I have hundreds of different assholes I can be. <laughs> They don't deserve loafs. You don't get loafs every time. <laughs> loafs is busy right now. You deal with me directly. <laughs> You're unappreciative. <laughs> I am your new counselor. What, what is your name? My name is Adam Pollux. <laughs> Adam Pollux. That's right. <laughs> don't you ever forget it. Who are you, Erica? I remember you. You were smaller then. Now you're taller. Maybe it's the boots. Hey, motherfucker, did you run out of music? <laughs> you finally reached the end of that fucking playlist, did you? Are you tired of me yet? I'll keep you working. He thinks I don't know. I've heard this one before. You want to fucking hear a shit? <laughs> Let me some fucking J.O.N. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with him, man? Yeah, I don't What's know. Wrong with this nigga, man? Yeah, man. You For can't real? fucking fool me. <laughs> I have not heard this one. I like it. <laughs> yes, like a Spanish drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Something about that one. It's like an empty can clanking about. <laughs> Clinkling no bounce. Clinkling. Oh. I once knew a stripper named Clinkling. Clinkling. Her name was Kalinkling. <laughs> Kalinkling. She gave excellent conolingus. Yes. <laughs> I like this. Do you like this? Yes. Sounds What's in there cook? I know it ain't coffee. It's coffee. You lying. What's, what's else in it? Mm -mm, mm, I had some wine back there, but I had to stop drinking it. Oh, okay. David Banner, I was like, nigga, I'm finna go to school. For real? Mm-hmm. He gave me this big ass knife. Damn, nigga. That's a sword. I'm gonna have to mail this bitch home. <laughs> That's not a knife. This is a knife. A knife. A knife. A knife. Like, do, a do yard work knife. with that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Cut all kind of roots. Hell yeah. This shit crazy. Yes, it is. Oh, man. Clayton rolled a nut. Mm, as usual. 
Hey, I don't normally do this. Hey, this is like it's the, something new to me. This was like the first scene on our fucking sitcom. Mm-hmm. So, Erica, I heard you got a date tonight. <laughs> this is real friends. Yeah, black friends. Black friends. Can I borrow twenty dollars from both of y'all? <laughs> Are you trying to go out again? <laughs> yeah, you man, know I met this girl time. on Craigslist. She just ah. need forty dollars for some gas money when she get here. Forty dollars. Yeah. I give you twenty. You owe me twenty already. Yeah, but I don't owe him twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do any of you motherfuckers anything. Adam Pollux here, and I'll be hosting the show tonight. Remember that name. Welcome yeah. back to the eighty-five Shop Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please bring it back. Yeah. Bring it back. You bring it back. Bring, bring it, back. it back. Bring it back. All right. No, no not that nigga. Fuck you, man. <laughs> you little smushy head, motherfucker. <laughs> you think I didn't see you? You little smushy head. Are those little things on your head smushy? I bet they're smushy. You don't think I know smushy hair when I see it? It's very smushy. This nigga is Matter of fact, that'd be your new name. I do no use. Who is this guy, Smushy? That's his name. Oh hey, goodness. Smushy. Smushy. Roll it up. <laughs> Roll it up, Smushy. smushy. <laughs> Clay, you been dealing with this what? 20 years? This nigga got man, an inner this white man. man. Me you just got to leave this nigga alone. Hey, I don't even know. Look. This inner white man. Hey, come man. Out. Hey, man. This is not my hey, first rodeo. I will be trying dude. to see what's going on inside his dude, head. This me and this dude that had the stupidest days and nights. I already know. I know. Hey, boy, there goes something about in life. I already know. That's and what I'm I saying. Like, every time I go somewhere with this nigga, some strange, weird shit happened. He would tell you, one night we had a show. We left Marietta. It was fucking dark. Pitch black dark. We get to the east side. That shit looked like it was morning time. I don't know where the fuck we hit. A time warp or some shit. We got to the other side of town. The motherfucker wasn't even dark over there. It is the middle of the night. What the hell y'all there. was? We were in Marietta when we left. We got to the other side of town and looked up, man. I was like, bro, don't it look like morning over here? The real like, explanation was it was rainy and it was cloudy, so it was dark. And then we drove to what no more clouds, nigga, and the sun was back out, nigga. But it was too late for the sun to even really still be out. That's, That's the scientific even more fucked up explanation. Than the shit that I said. I'm giving you the scientific explanation that I made for myself. So I wouldn't be like, it got daytime in the middle of the night. Because we got to the club, and we were supposed to be on time. We got to the club, and we was dumb early. Oh, so it was like in the middle of the day shit, right? Nope. Like 9 o'clock? It was nighttime, and we thought. Man, y'all, what y'all niggas was smoking? We went to some, it was some decent. We always smoked decent. Because when Mo Hagen said, we going to drink pretty good and smoke, and smoke decent, decent bud, bud yeah. that set the standard right there. <laughs> yeah. we, we were never out here just huffing glue. <laughs> we were never smoking the Babbage. Oh, never. I don't smoke Babbage. I don't heard of it raining on one side of town and not on the no. other side of town. See, that's why we don't tell this story a lot. But that's what yeah. it was, but it wasn't. It was that But I believe y'all, because look, folk don't believe I seen a UFO. I do. I okay. seen it. Tell me the story. Hold on, this whole next segment is classified. Yeah. <laughs> this is classified. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. We're going to call this one Ghetto Classified Information. Come on. Uh, star Sighting. Violet. Indigo Children. Uh, Come on. Parallel star Universes. Funkadelic. The Mothership. Portals. Come on. Middle Earth. Come on. Conspiracy theories. Come on. Mm. 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 This shit Candy real. Man, AKA the long hair sucker. <laughs> Welcome sucker. to a time call right now. <laughs> 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 hey man, you gotta put your sunglasses on so you can feel You're cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> You saw a UFO, though. Tell your story. Yeah, I, I really seen a UFO. See, I was working in public. I stayed in Collar Park, but I was working at the Publix on Roswell, right? 
I was about eight to nine months pregnant. I never forget, I listened to my wife care. <laughs> That's important to the story. Yes. What song? Because um. <laughs> you know it make a difference. It depends, yeah. man. It, you know what? Fly like a sky. Uh, uh, uh. It was something like that with the sky song. But it was like a spiritual song. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Oh, fly, fly like, like a bird. bird. Yeah, not fly like that. Mariah Carey? You know which song yeah. I like about fly? Oh, okay. That girl, when the white girl be like, I'm like a bird, and I don't know the way. Yes. I don't know where my own is. Yeah. Know. You know what I'm talking about? That was the work that retail. Yeah. Like that soft yeah. rock. That shit. Yeah. That soft rock. Oh, come and what's, on. What's yes. the other one? Uh, yes. And the other little white girl, London, Paris, Tokyo. That shit used to go harder. I'd be like, that much shit. Go ahead, though, my bad. <laughs> she but brought yeah. up white lady music. I'm Come sorry. On. But yes, I would listen to Mariah Carey, right? And I was going through some stuff in my life where I was pregnant and shit, just miserable. And then I'm driving to, down what, 285. I look up, I see the shit. It went psh. Then it went psh. I see that's a fucking UFO. I knew it was a UFO because it had green lights. The first light was green, then when it came back this way, it was red. Mm. That was a stoplight. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It was in the sky. That was... <laughs> on 285, though? It went on 285. No, and right. it was in the sky. Right. It was in right. the sky. I seen okay. it. It was shaped. You know no, how I'm they say. With you, but yeah. No, I seen the What's um the, shape? the bubble. The bubble had be the bubble in the inside and then we Okay, let me thing. ask you this. You saw that shit, right? I seen it. Do you think they saw you? They probably did. I think they did. Do you did. think the aliens disappeared? They were like, bro, you think the black lady saw <laughs> Hey, that's what made them take off. Hey, man, this black lady, look at yeah, her. Because yeah. <laughs> I was like, because I slowed down. I think she sees us, boss. <laughs> Leave at what? Yeah. <laughs> Prepare the astro ejection. Let's get the fuck out of this galaxy. Yeah. I don't want to be here. It smells like trash and garbage. <laughs> Nasty little shitty booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> the shit out of the booty hole now. Mm. They still eat meat. Mm. Oh. This nigga's stupid. But yeah, I seen that shit with my own eyes. Can't nobody I tell mean, me. Who else's eyes too? would you see them with? Oh. <laughs> you see your ass right quick. I know. You won't believe the shit I seen with your ass. I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> shit I ain't never seen with my ass. <laughs> my ass don't see the type of shit your ass. Oh, this how you see? God damn, nigga. <laughs> if I could have seen like this, nigga, I would have been had some vision. But I said, how, where you seen your at? Uh, I was in Ohio. I just left there. What, what city? Cincinnati. No, nah, I was in Toledo. No, nothing wrong with Cincinnati, but I was in, I think, Toledo. Mm. Outside the comedy club. For real? Man, that shit. It was a hot air balloon out there. You don't know, you don't see no hot air balloon just flying. I'm like, oh, nigga, I'm smoking weed. Like, oh, hot air balloon, okay, that's crazy. Then I look over and I see this shit, and it's like silver, and it's moving fast. Like, that shit far away, but it's moving fast. You know how the further some shit is away, the slow it move? You like, okay, that plane look like it's going slow, but it's up there, it's going 700 miles an hour, whatever the fuck. This shit was far away, like, like moving. The hot air balloon, like, they must have seen the shit because they dropped down low as shit. They was way up, and then they just dropped down, mm -hmm. and that shit was moving, and I watched that bitch, like, go off into the goddamn I know. I, that shit real. I seen, seen something in Vegas. I was in Vegas, right, and I was sitting on the balcony, right? <clears throat> this was right before it was, like, dust dark. So then I see, like, a row of, like, four red lights, and then that shit, light. and then them shit just, like, disappeared like that wasn't there. And then it was four on this side, and it was four on this side. But it was like four red, they were made like a triangle, but it was four of them. And then it was like just four lights over here. And then that shit made a straight line again. And then it looked like they split up again. Told you they were. And it was just like six. And now I was like, well, where the other two go? And then the other two, they like popped up. It was like bloop, bloop. And then it's just like that shit all flashed, and then they just disappeared. Gone. Gone. It was the craziest shit I ever seen. All this shit happened within like 30 seconds. Yeah, and you, and you, yeah. was, on, you was on the balcony. So I was, was I'm just, sitting there watching it. Right. Like the sun was way the fuck, like over, way this over there. Like I'm looking, that's the sun. So the sun but going down. Little, it was like, these look like 
six or eight little small versions of the sun. They was like real bright red, but they was like flashing like, like a whole like just like, mm. like a light, like a fucking light. But then it'll turn back red, and then it's like it was like they were saying some shit or telling each other some shit, and then just like that shit was there. It just like like it was never there. Like did nothing move or nothing. It just like that shit just showed up, and then wasn't there no more. And then that shit like. I believe you. I don't yeah. seen a lot of crazy shit in the sky. Folk don't be believing me. That's why I don't tell everybody kind of shit. Yeah. This, this I, think, I think God just be wanting me to see. I seen something else one time. You ain't got to tell everybody because folks going to try. I don't like when people make them hard ass excuses as to what the fuck it was. Yeah, they going to use scientific form. It might be Man, this. one time I was on the plane and we kept seeing these fucking things pass the plane real fast. And then the lady was just going around. Those are, those are, they're like, why the fuck is she telling us what, and then the people kept looking like, what is that, what is that? But it was just some like. What she trying to say it was? She said it was some type it's of. It's geese. Some type Man, of. Shut shit. up. <laughs> I forgot what the fuck she said, but it was some stupid shit. Like, that's just that. Oh my God, what do you shit, mean? She said it's some a, a drone or some shit. I'm like, drone don't drone move bitch, I know, it ain't going to be up there. the plane? Who the fuck's flying it way up here? The nigga wants to be on the plane. Okay. Flying it. Some shit okay. to that extent. But people were looking out the window like, what was that? And then one time I was looking up in the sky, it was raining. But it was just trying to stop raining, but not quite. Drizzling is the word. Okay, and I seen this, the whole sky is white. But it's dark, but it's white. I see a blue light and a red light. They fighting their ass. I look like Transformers in that bitch fighting. What it sound like? I ain't hear it. Uh -oh. But I can see it. I was like, Tell go man. blue. I was going for Play the blue. Play me some alien ass music. <laughs> yeah. you, got, you got Transformers <laughs> fighting in the sky music? Yeah. Like people be seeing and aliens. I don't, and look, shit. I don't even smoke weed and shit. I had stopped that shit a long time ago. I'm glad you stopped, because this shit is way too strong. Yeah, I, I already know. Like I be so happy thinking y'all my real friend. <laughs> nigga, I'm your real friend. Oh, nigga, nigga, I am that's how real. high I be. I be like, they give a fuck about me. But you know what? I, I got to stop smoking. But lately, I've been getting like little shotguns. Uh oh. And that shit be having me depressed. Then I just start thinking about shit that I don't even thinking about. Like potatoes and shit. Like, that's the shit you be thinking about? Like, my mind just be so slow. Like, All right, let me ask you this. What? Your mind gets slow. What you think of it? You was telling me you've been keeping up with the royal family. Mm -hmm. What's your reaction to it? So you talking about the the TV shows or what's going on in real life? The real life shit. Cause you like the shows. Oh yeah, right? I love the show. And I, I fuck with um um <laughs> Megan. Uh huh, Megan Markle. I fuck with her. I like her. I mean, what I think was going on it just is. Hey, you can't marry a white man and be mad when his family. Right, 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 right. Cause you already know what you're getting into. Right. So you, know you didn't marry the, a white man. You married the a white man. The white. The white mascot for white people is that silence, family. black girl. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that black baby home at once. I would like to see my nephew. I'd like to inspect his nigger jaws. <laughs> Let but, me see his feet. But y'all know what I they said, though. Are the baby, his baby don't get no title, though. They ain't going to get his baby no title. I heard that's quite a big fellow, you got that? <laughs> <laughs> he ain't going to have no title. They Why they ain't going to give him no title? They had a black they had a black queen back in the day. Oh, queen Charlotte. ironically, we have run out of title. <laughs> <laughs> you want your title back, call Title Max. <laughs> 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 what shall we call it? <laughs> what shall it's time to be? Mm-mm, they just gonna hit name or Prince of Cognac. <laughs> you know that's how well, they talking. should have been born in 1999. You know that's how they talking too, like with they the I tea. Tom said, so no, it's no way possible we're gonna let another one in yeah, like that. We're gonna have yeah. black grandson in this family? Then they were worried about how dark he gonna be. Bruh, I, yeah, the prince was probably like, no. I hope, I hope, I hope he's dark enough to scare my mom to death. His, where his the grandma, only one, okay, mom the only cool reason I'm die. joking about this is because I relate to that shit. Because mm. I got kicked out the royal family for being too dark. Which, which royal family? Yeah. The Debarges? No, the oh. royal family. Oh. Which one? It's like gathering sticks, <laughs> dropping them off in the ghetto of Mississippi. It's not whether to be royalty. The British royal family? The Mississippi, how, what, what was they called? 
<laughs> no, the African one, you motherfucker. No. <laughs> But yeah, I, I mess with them though. It's sad, but it ain't nothing new. Oh, they, no, yeah, I guess it's just. What's sad about it? It's just sad that you, that you gotta go through all that because of the color of your skin. Like, that's the sad part to me. But I know she gotta be, I know she had to be aware of what she was getting herself into. She, she said knew. she never Googled him, but I think she capping, she lying. She capping on that. She lying. Yeah, she capping on that. You and Googled it's fine it, if she lying. You Googled it. Ain't it. Like, Bitches Google regular, shit, I Google my niggas. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. What came up? Shit, nothing. Good. <laughs> and I'm glad up. you ain't find shit. Mm -mm, I ain't find nothing. But you did recently get married. We're going to celebrate. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> we ain't no hating that nigga. It ain't like, it ain't like recently, but you know. Black love is beautiful. Black love, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it ain't recently. It was just in December. Yeah, how you liking it? I mean, it's, it's, it's... Cause you came on here and talked shit about niggas for a minute. Ooh, boy, I had to pray some dick off me. What? Yeah, to get where I'm at now. You prayed it off. Yeah. Now you good. Now I'm good. You the young nigga I'm talking about. By the evil spirits. Yeah. Of I had your to pray. Ways. I had to pray that now thing. Now you off a me. housewife and shit. All that. Folding in the drawers. They gonna have you on the show this season. Hell, now they probably don't want me on now. Real housewife. I'm a real. I'm a real housewife for real. But I'm loving it though. It's 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 different. It's it and it's not as. La la, for be saying it is. Oh, yeah. What advice would you give the ladies after you know? You one know, of the ones who got to the other side and be like, girl, I found a husband. I'm out the game. I mean, just learn how to communicate. Yeah, I say, commu oh, that communication yeah. shit is a motherfucker, boy. Communicate. Hell yeah, tell the truth too. Hey, I'm with this other bitch. I hit you right back. Yeah, <laughs> communicating <laughs> and um, I mean, I don't know. So many D Day, everybody got so many preferences. They want this kind of nigga. They want that kind of nigga. And I think I got married because I came to God real with some real shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to have them. You just wanted a real nigga. Yeah, I just said give me That's a real preference. nigga. That was my preference. That's yeah, just yeah. give me a, a, a man that know his position and all that. He like, bam, because right. we're going to make some money. Right. You know That's what I'm saying? That's the easy part. That's the easy right, right there. Right. I ain't, you can ask for a man for six figures and then the nigga get hurt, then what you gonna do? Yeah, right. you better find a nigga who got the potential to make six. Yeah. Bring in eight. Yeah. Nine figures. Right. Yeah. Right, yeah. anything yeah. like that stuff. So, yeah. Make it feel real good <laughs> to me. It cool. Cause a lot of ladies out there is looking for a new nigga. You understand? But there's no such thing as a new nigga, it's just another one. Just another one. It's just another one. Ain't no new, ain't no new pussy. There ain't no new, it ain't. But you get, you really can't just be out here thinking about shit like that. Now that's the type of shit that'll make you lose it. Yeah. Maybe it's new to you. Yeah, it be new to you. Like yeah, this is new, this, no new this new to me. Ain't no new pussy. All this shit new to me. Best you can hope for is some true pussy. What's some, what's that? Pussy that's gonna be there. He deep in his bag. Be there. <clears throat> oh, that's, he you know call it true about. pussy. Carlo, what's up with your pussy? What you make it sound like I got a pussy? I mean, not like that. That's not going to come off. I from, mean, oh, my bad. Road. Not like that. Like, I mean, <laughs> we was in the rotation of the pussy. Then I'm like, what's up with your pussy? Like, yeah, like not, you made it sound like I got a pussy. No, no, y'all do not No, you don't. No, my bad. <laughs> no. Hey, man, my pussy is well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My pussy's doing better than that. I take, I take good care of my pussy. That nigga just petting it in his pocket. He's got a pussy. With my pussy's doing well. It's all right. It's a little sick this morning. She was sneezing. But it's okay now. My pussy's not eating the treats as he usually does, but he's doing well. I spent a lot of time with my pussy in the recent days. This nigga's so crazy, man. Oh, oh. Well, I miss y'all, though. I appreciate y'all, too, for having me on here, man. Yeah, you know, you get so hard to get in touch with since this nigga done cuffed you up. No, no. Here I come on to spend the rest of my days. No. <laughs> <laughs> Low so count, man. Low so count, man. Just want to be with you, Eric. <laughs> I mean, that cool or whatever. <laughs> I said, that cool or whatever. <laughs> you for real. Y'all come here. This man said he's finna marry y'all mama. 
<laughs> For real. For real. Hey, I can't believe hey, it. If you fuck with him like that, go ahead and fuck with that him. That man, man. That man, man, for real. He was saying that shit for real. <laughs> he like, shit, that what you want to do, man? Go on do that shit. Don't I'm with you. Don't do that shit, bro. He like, I'm with you. Hell. Because we wouldn't even date. Like, our first date, he was like, I'm going to marry you. I said, cool. For real? The first date. First date, we had a conversation. But what if you don't understand? What if you was just the little crazy ass woman he was looking for? I think as I. As soon am. as he dropped you off, bro, I found one. I ain't letting this little crazy motherfucker go. You know how I love little <laughs> crazy ass women. I'm getting older. And this is gonna be my last rodeo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he did the opposite of what he been used to. Cause he like smart girls and shit. Then he like the big one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that nigga was liking decent women. Yeah. Then he started fucking with her. <laughs> hey, Don't talk about you like that. He like smart women. And like shit. Like he like the then he got tired of hearing about all them books oh, and shit. Yeah, yeah, he like the motherfucker that pronounced word correctly and shit. He be looking at me now when I say shit <laughs> fucked up. Like, other than I was reading some shit, nigga want to correct me. I said, hey, bro, tomato, tomato. Let me say the shit how I want to say this shit. No, I'm saying don't correct me. I don't like shit like that. But he um, wasn't fucking with smart <laughs> women to <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He, he, he can't did. correct you. I, I wonder what made I mean, him change, it was cool, bro. But I just know how he trying to be and shit. Like, don't be trying to be slick funny and shit. I wonder what made him change. No, he sitting there and then want this smart ass woman just talking nonsense, and then the neurological system just completely shuts down. Man, I'm so sick of hearing this shit. Mm -hmm. Bitch, again with the neuroscience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to hear about wavelengths and neurons and other <laughs> well, the women that can't right. say parallelogram. <laughs> Shit, me, nigga, parallel lamb. Vortex this. <laughs> Deep uh. space. <laughs> yeah. And she go with the algebra. <laughs> but I think he like that shit, because he think he's just no more than the nigga and shit. No. But I like it, though. So. That was so. But yeah, you didn't but it was the last in what? Day the game up. Yeah, the same day. Then what? Three, four months later, we were married. That's a lot of work to do it. A little bit. Of it time. is. We went to Vegas though. Went to the chapel. Some white man married us. Y'all was in there drinking. Was yeah. it a black ass wedding? Just it was black. It was hey, about to get married. Yeah, play some it. jagged ass when they finish. It, now you know who I played. I thought um, that he married us. Not Mariah Carey. Uh uh, Rashida. Do it. Got uh -uh. the kind of pussy make, make them want to marry me. Make them want to marry me. I made that shit for That's real. That's a wedding song, man. It was my wedding song. She, as man. soon as that nigga said, I do it, and that shit was official, I said, put them on and make them want to marry me. I always wanted to say man. that shit. What y'all do you for y'all honey? I money. gotta say that shit. How did y'all celebrate? But you know, it was so cold in Vegas. Mm. So we really got to like redo the shit. All oh, we did yeah. went back for you know <laughs> that one and just fuck. Like I want to be on the window. I want to be in there with a tiger. You know what I'm saying? I want to do some more. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no yeah I did. I cut my thing in my head with hangover. <laughs> So I want to get fucked up, like nigga, I ain't like, I, I want to do some drugs, nigga. Like, I don't even do drugs, like I want to do some motherfucking drugs and shit. That shit didn't even go down like that. That shit didn't even go down like that. I'm so glad shit didn't go down. I wanted to go down, like nigga, where the fucking tigers at? We gonna fuck a tiger together. Like, Y'all just gonna be still like. <laughs> like nigga, I want to do something different. Man. Yeah, fuck a tiger. Yeah, like, oh, the tiger fuck me more, like, I don't care, like, mm -mm. I just want to mm -mm. You I should want care. To <laughs> I want to I'm done talking you to you. You should care. What the fuck is wrong no, with you, man? No, man, I want to do something exotic. That is not coffee in that fucking cup. Yes, it is. It's, it's coffee in there. I want to do something exotic. That's what exotic mean now? Tiger just. Yeah, I just hey, wanted hey, to well, do Hey, well, you something. know I'm excited. <laughs> the tiger just leap on your ass. Yeah. Like, nigga, what man. is the tiger look watching the show and like, shit, what's up, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all said y'all gonna pull up. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Man, I wanted to do that uh, shit, but it was just no. so cold. I'm not asking you anything else. Yes, man. I'm That's so glad that it was why? cold. It was so cold in Vegas. You didn't, you didn't need to do that. You didn't need to do them Vegas drugs. Why? I you wanted... must don't know how big a damn tiger is. 
Mm-mm. I wanted to find out. Why and I wanted to do some drugs. They got... Only thing they had was those... I'm not going to explain this scientifically. Only, only thing they had was them little dispensary stores things. Yeah, all my the country. I'm like, nigga, they don't got no beans up here. No. Like, something. No, and if you get them, they not going to be... They going to be from some weird dude on the strip. Mine that you don't tell. want it from. I'm putting my, I'm putting my weed out there. You, you talking about doing drugs. <laughs> nah, no, I did want to do some drugs because I don't do drugs. <laughs> So, you know, I got my husband. You know, I did that. You don't your... get a husband that start doing drugs. <laughs> <laughs> got married, then I got hooked on crack. As <laughs> soon as I got married, I said, I'm so happy. You know what? I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> ow, ow. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, now you know, I, I don't know. How much do you teach yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to do something different with my hood. You, yeah, I drugs is definitely do. different. Because I ain't never really did no drugs. Look it? how Marvin Gaye looking at you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Motherfucker talking about doing drugs. Man. <laughs> Look how he looking like he mad. Like, what the hell you say that stupid shit? Look how he looking. But I'm dead for real, though. I believe. That's the fucked up part. Mm, I don't know. He was down with it, too. Your spirit, real? You should sure say my spirit told me. Yes. So, y'all know I just had my first comedy special. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Plug that shit. Yes, yes, yes. Plug that shit. Man, if yes. it ain't called I would fuck a tiger, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> that's the that's gotta be the next one. Go back one. and change the name. That's gonna be the next one. Cause Erica I will. the Duchess, how to fuck a tiger. Okay. Erica the Duchess. We was gonna fuck a tiger. Or either it was gonna fuck me. <laughs> The drugs and tigers. Drugs and tigers. Come but on, let's do it. I just had it. What's wrong? Um, Tell the people. It was called it. My Spirit Told Me. It was at Uptown. It was sold out. People had they had to turn people around because it went almost six in there. Man, they I was, was sitting titty to nipple. Man, man, let me tell you, I was so overwhelmed with this. Like I knew, I knew probably about fifty, sixty tickets probably get sold, but every ticket was sold in that bitch. And then you know when you, you have your about fifty or sixty, you girl, you more popular than that. Yeah, but I yeah. didn't think you know it's pandemic, then it was thirsty, then it was raining. I like these folks might not come out like that. Man, but this is what this is the shocker. Now I've been doing comedy seven years now, right? This whole VIP side and this side was my hood. Yeah. Everybody <clears throat> from Boat Rock was in this bitch. Yeah, they was waiting on you. I was like these niggas ain't never came in now. Now other shows. They was waiting because right. that's your moment. They wanted to make sure they was there for that moment that they were like, okay, this the one. Let me go on here. I, this big. Man, everybody from nah, West Lake. Yeah. Yeah. Like nigga, I ain't even graduate with them goddamn folk, boy. Yeah. And they still showed up for me. Cause you graduated that summer. You ain't had to wait. Oh, I ain't graduated <laughs> with them at all. <laughs> <laughs> I know the shit is doing well because you got a whole ass necklace. Yeah, I mean, you, this is it, you it got coming a rapper out. Chain. Yeah, trying. You know, yeah. Mamie ain't got me this shit. Oh. My son, yeah. Mamie. Shout out to yeah. Mamie. Yeah. About yeah. putting yeah. ice on his mom. Ma, I got your necklace. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's old snub, Ma. Oh, where you get that necklace from? Green, bro. Hey. <laughs> I was like, okay. But yeah. Shout out to Mamie. He looking out. So I'm, yeah. I'm proud of that, man. This coming game. I really, I'm about to cry now, because I'm just right. like, because y'all got me up here with y'all. Let me tell you, you something. You been up here. But nigga, it been a long time, nigga. Like, nigga, I don't you got You thought we was going to change on you? Not well, you. We keep the same motherfuckers around that been fucking with us. Y'all sure no. do. Now, what if we would have been on. calling you and shit, and then you would have missed your date with the nigga who said he wanted to marry you, because we done <laughs> fucked around and went over, and you ain't get out of here at nine. And then nigga had to work the next day. That's, now that's true. You gotta and look he had at things that fuck way. With you that's from right. Nine to eleven. That's I right. was gonna marry you, but you full of shit. Can't text nobody back. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Hell, I got to get up at six. Hey, hey, that shit true with y'all. The child be going to bed about seven o'clock. This, this late he night. He a grown man. Hey, most bro. grown men got a lot of shit to do hey, tomorrow. Hey, you know the time on went up, right? Then he was like, Whoa. hey, hey, yeah. yeah, it went forward that yeah, way, yeah. yeah. He, he didn't call <laughs> home, he hey. didn't call home because you out. God damn it, now I'm at work an hour early. <laughs> what the fuck I'm supposed to do? Yeah, he be me. Yeah, by the time I make it back home and get back up here, it'd be an hour. Then we said, hey, and he came home about 8 o'clock. He said, God damn it, time to go to bed again. I said, God, boy, you check out here. He be what he be on. Bro, man, go to goddamn sleep. 
For real, real. He like, probably like the first grown man I ever dealt with. That nigga good. cut my, we were dating, he came to my house, cut my grass. I said, oh, this nigga, you for real. And now see, when I go back and find that episode, I said some shit just like that. I'm gonna find it. Go back what? and watch the first Erica the Duchess episode. Just see how much, go back to when Which we one was that? in the other trap. The, the other trap? She didn't, or the brick did a bunch of episodes. Watch how much shit she was talking. That but, nigga did everything I said. That nigga showed up, cut that grass. Come on. He put, put three nails in that mailbox and straightened it out so it ain't crooked no more. And he cut down my goddamn that tree. That nigga fixed that screen though so that motherfucker open with no sound. <laughs> you can use. Hell For yeah. Real. And he fixed that, that knob on the sink that just spin around. That motherfucker need to screw it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he that type of real. And he young. Came like, through it. Fixed the young, toilet. The like, toilet don't rock when you shit. That's the worst shit. That's the worst shit. If this motherfucker break, I can't be the nigga to break the toilet. Ass cheek done slipped off. <laughs> Fix the toilet at once! <laughs> but marriage yeah, is a beautiful thing. Though. I love it, though. That's what's up, man. My kids happy. That's good. He got kids. Hell yeah, they happy. Mm-hmm. They like, we got a new mama. Uh, she got them serious. I don't know, but they been here no fucking, so they might look at me a little oh different. Oh, my Lord. Erica, you doing a terrible job no, of being not, a wife. No, uh, uh, First of all, the daddy, I be trying to be quiet with them kids. It, it's now. probably the daddy fault, because these niggas be trying to fuck loud. I'm yeah. the daddy. I, I pay all the bills. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck loud as I want to. Clock, 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 yeah. clock, clock. Yeah, yeah. Sir, sir, you don't have to be slanging your balls down. Your children are across the yeah. hallway. Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to play. Clock, 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 clock. We're trying to play Nintendo. Mama, you okay? <laughs> y'all gotta be. Y'all gotta be. You get him, fool. You get him, fool. That's how I be, too, but he be screaming, though. You got him screaming. Yeah, Shut up! <laughs> you, you don't supposed to get on here and tell everything. That ain't everything. I, I had my husband screaming. Yeah. Now all the women gonna be like, your, your wife was on the show talking about how you be screaming. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get to work. Hey, y'all get this shit together now. We gotta get it. Come on, we gotta get this shit out of here. No, nigga, you be screaming. <laughs> <laughs> your wife said you got nipple ring. I'm not, I'm not listening to you. I'm not listening to you. Shut the fuck up. I'm telling everything. My bad. You already oh. been talking about how you want to fuck a tiger. Hey, man, hey, man, my wife just be saying shit. shit you know, okay. We nah. ain't never talked to her uh, talk to her about that specifically. Uh-uh. We ain't never say it. She said a lion at the house. Now she talking about a tiger. <laughs> All this lying. tiger shit new to me, too. Nah, my husband work that shit, too. You, no, he not. He don't want to fuck no tiger. Well, I guess you're going to let it watch you fuck me. No. Oh, you Do you know how little you are compared to a fucking tiger? <laughs> Do you know that it's a tiger? I don't, because I want to... I ain't want to do no threes and shit. That shit lame. So you gonna fuck the tiger and then come out and be like, yeah, it's real in there with that tiger. Mm-hmm. What is wrong with you? He yeah. gonna eat you. Don't, I want to train tiger. Okay. He's still you think they got tigers that train to fuck people? <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. She think Tony the tiger gonna come out. Bro, put that with weed some down. On. Whatever the effect that shit happened on her is is too much. She uh-uh. really think they got. Uh uh-uh. oh. No. But Tigers. you know folks do stuff like that. You you mm-mm. you're losing credibility. <laughs> well, okay. Folks don't this do lady? stuff like that. Folks, this lady's crazy. She was a fucking tiger. Just want to do something different. I don't know. Hey man, that's way too different. Oh. Erica. But what animal? No. I don't, none. Oh. Shit, women crazy enough. Yeah, hey, I just don't can't do no threesome. I don't I like don't dogs watching me. Huh? I don't like dogs watching me. Fuck. Me either. Get, Get that, that dog that out sound the room. Like they said. They're like, mm. you want some dick too? Get out of here! It's like you done fucked too long. Mm. Y'all still doing this? He's <laughs> <laughs> not gonna stay tonight. You ever had the dog yawn? Get your motherfucking ass out of here, dog yawning and shit, man. The dog He's not doing too. nothing new. The dog pick up the. <laughs> oh, let me go and get the fuck out of here. Hey, hey, hey. Sure what what are you trying here. to say, dog? Mm-mm. Get the fuck out of here. Don't watch me. I'm not a dog owner. I don't have yeah, time Yeah, I, right I don't now. really do I'm going to get one when I'm going to be more at the house. I'm going to get one. Like, I'm on. just going to take it everywhere. It's going to have a little vest on like them people do at oh, the yeah. airport. You have a little dog? I was going to ask you about that. Do you mm-hmm. think that dogs want some of these jobs that people be giving them? What kind of jobs? Emotional like, support? 
Like they'll like people want to travel with their dog, so they'll get like the paperwork and be like, this is a support dog. Hell no. Service dog. But the dog be like, bro, I ain't really no service dog, bro. I'm still be shitting in the house, bro. <laughs> it's just so I can sit by him on the I ain't no real service dog, bro. I don't do nothing. Mm-mm. It's an able-bodied motherfucker. I put up on him service. That's just stupid. What if dogs take their job response, like they take them real serious and be like, you know, I'm an emotional support dog. So I know when the nigga said. I just walk up behind him and just lick the inside of his paw. That's what I, I mean his hand. They humans, I'm sorry. But mm. they, they paw, they got some big paws. They they kinda like I just, just but no, the dogs look gotta... at humans as big dogs with less right. feelings. <laughs> right, right, right. That's my role. So they should have like dogs as psychiatrists. They do though, and dogs do. know that. But the only way that they know that, it look weird to us, but it's totally normal to them. They just sniff each other ass and they be like, nigga, you a lawyer dog, huh? <laughs> ah, what's up, G? Where you went to dog college at? Ah, my partner them over there. You know Lucky? Oh. They have their own way I think, of I really think, I really think they do. I really think, um, uh, like fishes. See, you dogs. You talk to your dog. You to dogs. Do Humans are mind. their pets. No, that's if your dog out of control. No, I'm saying like dogs mm-hmm. always look at themselves as like, you don't, like the same way you think you own a dog, a dog owns you. They think they own you. Yeah, they, dogs be like, come on, man. I gotta walk my human. I might as well shit while we outside. Right, that's if they train wrong. Like dogs be like, I take him outside every day. He don't never pee. So I be trying to pee to show him what to do. <laughs> you not gonna pee? Man, that shit's so genius. <laughs> like, what if when we leave dogs at home, right, and you know, you leave them out and they pee somewhere? What, what if that was their way of letting you know something happened? You shit on this rug? Man, that's where the shit happened. I was trying to show you where the burglars were. <laughs> Why did you pee? Because, man, I'm telling you, it was. Nigga. Something happened right here that ain't had shit to do with. I was just showing you where the, where the ghost in your house are. I think dogs just have a bigger purpose. That's all yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I think, I think so too. They mean something, cause these people get real attached to birds. But look, birds. I, I mean, I mean, um. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you. <laughs> you what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Who get attached to birds? Pirates. <laughs> you know, you know, pirates. They love their birds now. I would kill you about that bird. But I just seen that on his post too. We got a bird. He said people getting too calm with knowing that pirates can talk. Oh, like yeah, parrots. Parrots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. But how do they talk though? I was gonna Google it, but I ain't. Parrots, they can say a whole bunch of shit. They mimic what we say, and they got the same some vocal cords. Yeah, but they got their own thoughts. But they was born Mm -hmm. like that, though, right? They don't be programmed to mimic people. We don't know if they're the only ones that can talk. What if all the other animals just refuse to speak to us because the way we've been behaving as humans? I believe. No, they just want us to speak their language. They're not gonna talk to you on their shit. You got to talk. To the, that's why you gotta talk to dogs like you talk to dogs. Right, you know, and dogs, dogs understand too. Dogs know if you if you <clears throat> if, if you not for the fuck shit. Yeah, they do. In, they I'm gonna do let know. you in on something. Ever since I told you that white people dogs do shit that black people dogs don't. They sent you videos. They been sending me videos. Give me some. Black the dog, white people dogs doing amazing shit. I told you about the dog that know how to use a sword, right? So, yes. That's Tank, it. that motherfucker had the machete and he was on their ass, dog. He had okay. it in his mouth. So the dude and working he was out. swinging that bitch. That's the white dog. So the other white dude said, I think video. he was Brazilian, but. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. So it might dude, be white. The dude working out. Why the dog hold his leg so he could do the sit up? The dog jumping rope, stretching. They had another dog. This motherfucker was dancing to some. Motherfucking NBA young boy uh, or some shit that money move hidden hidden better watch the whole wide hitter hit her better watch the whole wide hitter oh dogs going crazy I've been seeing all the wild shit other video motherfucking dog holding a burrito sitting there watching TV with the white man just eating the burrito being a dog white people dogs is amazing I just seen some Tony Baker he had something with the dog standing up but he was hiding the dog was hiding and shit. Yeah, like how oh, you, like how you Did you see the one on the on on the on the Segway? 
on the little yeah, school and, and ran, ran that motherfucker wall. ran into the wall yeah. like bow. Oh, yeah. shit, I, I should have never been up here, y'all. Should never been up there. Yeah, up here. that it's shit great, but though I think cause what they are mammals. Yeah. We all mammals mm -hmm. like so they got some kind. Of, you have what? Cause now you're breaking down the species and shit. Yeah, nigga, don't let this shit fool you. We all nigga. mammals. It's a, it's a fungus in here. Like motherfuckers never mention me. All yeah. the ba all the airborne bacteria Organism. is like oh. <laughs> So, it's classism. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. We're going to so, get real specific as to what we are. I, personally, my mother was a germ and my father was a bacteria. Jacob T. Germ. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Because y'all seen what dolphins do, right? I think dolphins are um, nymphos. Yeah, they fuck for fun. Yeah, yeah they, they fuck, really they do. Fuck, oh, they, they, they get high. You, you know, I've been watching all the fucking... Our planet shows, right? Okay, they got some shit called a finless porpoise. They had just some, this fucking, it looked like a regular dolphin, but it's a porpoise, but it has no fins. Like, like one of them fins is missing off that bitch, so it looked like the same shit you're used to seeing, but then it don't. And they just got a few of them hoes. It just fucked my mind up. That ain't got shit to do with nothing. But I was just. I've been saying, how many is it in the world? I'm letting you. Know, it ain't a lot. I'm just letting you know that there's some shit in there that they don't even know about yet. They just found out that whales and dolphins and sharks they all be fucking. They got some hybrid ass fish out there. Oh, I believe you, man. Cause we had went fishing, deep sea fishing, and it was a fish that came out the water with with your face. Don't say that. <laughs> Well, it did. It had like it's a, another nigga that looked more like the fish. I did. You hold on. Oh, yeah. No, it I did. I did see a fish with some human teeth, though. Man, that fish had a whole human face. That's how you know they missing <laughs> shit experiment. Somebody fucked the fish. Yeah, somebody. Hey, I they, believe. Oh, they oh a dolphin will fuck you now. Oh, no, they this what happened. They inserted some human sperm or some shit. Yeah, I think people they jacked off in the ocean. I think they do that. Yeah, right. No. Then that means that we go in the ocean with whale sperm. How big is that? That shit got to be the size of a frog. That's enough to get everybody pregnant. You sure That's what I'm be. saying. Yeah. This some shit to think That's about. Exactly. That's why it is salty. Everybody, the fish, man, come on, man. But it's so many. That's where the real shit is. Ain't nobody been all the way under the ocean. And no. I, I ain't going. It's too big. I ain't going. I don't want to go. I'm not I don't, don't want to go that far. Like that's out of space. That's out of space too. But I just, I'm mm. glad that that's that's see that's where white people come in at. We need them to go down there and tell us what the fuck is down there. Cause if it was just us, we would never know. Every I time don't a fish, descriptions. every time we see a fish, we'd be like, man, what the fuck is that? I don't know, my yeah. nigga. Stay the fuck out that water. <laughs> so we gonna keep it real. I don't they trust gonna, their descriptions. They gonna say, oh, it was the, the whitest fish, the prettiest whitest fish stays down there. You know, <laughs> see, that's what you was talking about earlier. You right. don't know what the fuck shit look like in their eyes. It might be beautiful to them. It always gonna be beautiful in their eyes. They see a bunch of successful black yeah. fish underwater. Thriving. Yeah, they're the gonna be like, it's terrifying. But it's what the if deepest. It's, African... it's terrifying. It, it crushes you. It's too deep. But what if yeah. there's a group of successful black fish at the bottom of the ocean who a just, school? They just never came to the top because of like ocean racism. <laughs> Let us see those black fish. You know what I just imagined in my head while you said it? What? I see a black fish, right? Shiny, right? Kinda yeah, he's shiny. real black, but he got African designs on him. Who with put? a um with a belt thing going around the head. But uh, he a why, fish. What a fish get a belt? He like a warrior. A warrior yeah. fish? Yes. Okay. And he black. And he black. Oh. I just seen that. Right. You crazy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't, don't But sleep. I bet there's a whole population of black fish that we haven't seen yet. You turn that it's into something. It probably a be new... a whole, whole population of a lot of black but shit But you know what I've been yet. watching a lot of? If you get a chance, go watch some fucking cartoons on YouTube from back in the day. Oh, the Boy, racism. These motherfuckers were so goddamn racist. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, know what else racist. racist. Not trying to change the subject. Race. Um, what's that show? Golden Girls. That Golden racist. Girls was racist? Oh my fucking God. The Golden Girls? The Golden Girl with Betty White, them all them hoes. Thank you for being my friend. friend. Yeah, travel down the road and back again. 
them hoes racist. Blanche. Which one? Blanche. Oh yeah, Blanche racist. Blanche is racist. Blanche, as Blanche had to, she she was. But why? I'm from the south. Yeah, I got a confederate south. flag. Yeah. So we used to have slaves. We yeah, keep them. Cause she, I would watch it. Keep I mean, their bones in the I cabinet. I used to watch it every morning. Then I start saying. This shit racist as fuck. Bland just said some shit like, oh, I might as well get my whip. I'm like, bitch, your whip. Because she thought they thought somebody broke in their house and it was a little black man. And they bitch said, I might as well. Man. Bitch said, I might as well get my whip. I said, this show mm -hmm. is racist. And what was the lesson at the end of it? Shit. Front door. Nothing. Might have, you live with a 90 year old white lady who just walk in and out of the street. And, and so and filled next time with racist too. Nigga, make sure you she called people with nigga and come in the house. She did. There was no nigga in here. It was me. They left your door unlocked and I didn't need a Nashville. <laughs> you yeah. mean to tell me we went through all of that for these? <laughs> You blame a black man, nobody cares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nabisco. Mm, for real, that shit real. I hope you learned your lesson. <laughs> Credits roll. Credit rolls. That shit real though. I ain't know that race. That go back, cause when you I young, just wonder who was the motherfucker who thought thousands of hours of racist cartoons was a good idea. And now they try to act like racist, they don't exist. I don't like how they try person. to erase. They they trying to erase the racist. Cause we waking up now. See back then that shit was just so funny. Nah, niggas was at work and they didn't have time to really shit down pay. And we ain't know what they were showing us. I want reparations for them racist ass cartoons we had to sit up and watch, man. That shit be blackface, little monkey, children, all that shit that used to be on Nickelodeon. You remember Bosco or whatever? That was a little blackface. Man, come on, man. It's a lot of racism. We just not waking up to this shit. This shit crazy, though. We ain't, we ain't. We should've been woke. I don't know. We I ain't the type of nigga that's gonna go we'll racism see. hunting, though. I'm not nah, gonna go I, seek I don't out Nah, I don't either. I don't either. What ain't being racist at? Play that song that's racist. I can't believe they said that racism on that song that I never was supposed to listen to because they ain't make it about me. Nah, I ain't finna go look for this shit. I don't want no drama. No kind of drama, nowhere. But it's out here though. When it comes to me, it just comes to Man, you look hard enough, you'll see some racist shit everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everybody you ever like said the wrong shit sometimes. Even your Dr. black people. Seuss? Dr. Seuss, we out of here. Why they, yeah. be, why they go at the people that's long gone dead or either motherfuckers that don't exist? I know Happy why they go That, that nigga ain't even real. Dr. Seuss, though. Now I get it. And now I know why they didn't like green eggs and ham. You saw that? Because they were cooked by a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat, eat them, them anywhere. anywhere. Because that nigga, I don't like his hair. <laughs> Get that shit up out of here. <laughs> I do not like green eggs and ham because that's what niggas eat. I would not eat them with a boxer and a fox who had green and red feet. I do not want your nigga food. I do not mean to be rude. <laughs> nah, this shit is racist as fuck. Oh. That shit's so true though. Gordon, but here's I a be, nigga. But I wonder like, like all bullshit aside though. All bullshit aside. The cat in the hat is trying to steal your house, man. <laughs> Dr. No. Seuss racism. I'm not oh, they did say Dr. Seuss used to do menstrual show shit. He did. That's how he got his start. And For the cat real? in the hat is uh, dressed up like some menstrual show cat. That's well, what they said. On. What? I like, why did this shit come from? Because the he traded in his black face. I be wondering why folks be so hat. mad, though, man. You mad? No, I ain't mad about nothing. But I just hate this shit going down like this. No, that's just the way the world is. The world is, but I just wonder why it had to be change. like that, though. Now it ain't gonna change. As soon as that Dr. Seuss racism shit came out. It's changing. We changing it, though. You just can't see the bit, change. But you can't. While my it's thing gone, is. That shit made that shit more valuable, though. As far as certain laws, we can do that. But as far as an individual who don't like the color of your skin, ain't nothing we won't ever be able to do about it. Yeah, they gonna shit. die. Who? They gonna get up out of here. They gonna die. But they all gonna die. Yeah, eventually. Eventually. And then you know we gonna keep going. We ain't gonna stop. And if we do the right thing, if everybody do the right thing on day end, then that shit work out. Yeah. That's the yeah. hardest part. Staying black. Yeah. yeah. You gotta stay and black. And you and that and um unite. So I choose to stay black. But you're you, not even black. You and Alex. Alex who? Alex. Rolex. Rolex. <laughs> Alex Rolex. <laughs> Leave me alone, Erica. You fucking tiger. <laughs>
Tiger Fucker here. Welcome back to the oh, Fast House Show. Welcome back. back. Bro, we getting, we getting deeper than well meat. I know. What you say? Kirk Franklin. Wait a minute. I'm going to look right at the camera and tell the world. Come on, man. Kirk Franklin ain't did shit wrong. What did he do? He ain't did that wrong. Kirk Franklin ain't did shit wrong, bro. Everybody who everybody cuss. Everybody who know they real daddy then got cussed out for being, for thinking you grown. It don't matter how old you are. You could be 33, 37. But it's um, boy, my kid, boy, shit. I cuss that ass out so bad. Now if they record some shit and get you and put it on the internet, you gonna be mad in the mother. Now that was some lame ass shit. You don't tell on your motherfucking daddy, man. Hold on, I don't need. That. You tape the shit. I thought about it. You just got to take that cussing out. You got to take that L and, but and go. But when man. I heard Kurt Franklin say that, boy, I was just so proud. Like, I don't know what made me so proud. Maybe because folk be saying, you know, they be I'm going to tell you why. Why I was so proud. Because Kurt Franklin was exactly the nigga you thought he was. He's a nigga at the end of the day. He a man. He, he a man. black man. That nigga said with your bitch ass. I want to hear the first part. Don't let that church shit get you fucked up. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not at church right now. I got time to put my foot in your ass. Okay. Expeditiously. That shit was funny, hell. Oh, that nigga man. said with your bitch ass. Then you go to his page, son, look like a little bitch. <laughs> a little bit. You don't try Kirk Frank. Out of everybody to try, though, Kirk Frank. Man. Wow. But he lame in hell though, bro. I would have never did that. Then you can tell he edited the part out that he ain't want for the hill. The whole conversation he just wanted to yeah. make. They trying to Kurt play trying so to bad. pitch that narrative. But that shit, My daddy cussed me out. Like a little so, like a little baby. Boy, man, you 33 years I, old, boy. I know. Thompson, that shit damaged him uh dad and the boy, my kid should be He the one putting it out. Yeah. You trying so to damage did. yourself. <clears throat> I cussed mine out so bad. I've been wanting to hear Kirk Franklin cuss somebody out. Hey, you know we're going to slip out. I just out. hate it had to be his son. You know we're going to be I think, I don't know. I want, what we wanted to hear Kirk Franklin cuss. But I, okay. I hope he get a movie role now. He got to cuss. He got to cuss a lot. Samuel L. Jackson. Motherfucker, <laughs> don't. <clears throat> Not just, he got to. Samuel L. Jackson. Like, that's what, Kirk Franklin has done a lot of positive shit. Nice things in the community. He, he, got, he was a voice of reason right? in a lot of things. He ain't no fault of He just had a little been porno the face problem. Of, of, you know, the spiritual s for a minute. I'm yeah, I mean, not he fuck up. It's he, human. It's, he human. Yeah, yeah we he human. We gon' we gon' fuck up. Yeah. I mean, ain't nobody perfect, man. Christian, Baptist, and whatever. That, I don't. I don't. You know, he, that doesn't disqualify anything he has done. It don't. To it me, don't. It if don't. Anything, it increases his demand. Who not going to do, who preacher don't cuss? At some point. This is the thing about it. They He's say not if, a pastor. They say if you think, it, no, he not a pastor. He is a gospel music artist. He is, matter of fact, he's a gospel um, instructor, like the guy that's. Exactly. That, that's all he do what is he do? this. <laughs> <laughs> what he, he do what he want to do at he church. He is the that's instructor. What he do. Yes. That's all he do. He's not no pastor. What the fuck is Kirk doing with his hands? <laughs> that's what he decided. Seeing how his hands go. Yeah, that's what. There you go. He is, yeah. man, it really just cement. It, 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 like, it just go to show. Ain't nobody perfect, man. We living in this world. Why you world. gotta be perfect? You can be perfect and cuss a motherfucker out. That don't mean you ain't perfect. Why? Right. That's why we telling folks. It's other people's imperfections that make you cuss them out. I cut people out all the time. Me I'm too. I'm not going to not cuss you I out apologize. because I'm an imperfect motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, I had my, my um somebody in my family one time going to tell me, you don't need to be doing that coming like that. You need to come and do gospel on coming. I said, for what? <laughs> come and do that for what? What what they going to change? God gave me the gift. This is my gift. Right. And I'm gonna, this is how I communicate with my people. These are my people. This is how I right. talk. This is how I relate to them. What makes me more, di what's the difference? If I go, I, I don't need churches. You, you know, know what I'm saying? What, you know what I tell I be, one of, you know how you have to make your, your uh, list of rules in life? Yeah. My list of rules is don't fucking tell me what to do. But, hey, that's my thing. And it's simple, like, hey, I don't have to explain mm -mm. it. Yeah, don't tell mm -mm. me what to do. Don't be mm -mm. trying to, don't be. And that's one thing too I like about my husband too. Cause I said, any nigga that I, cause I, I, I've been single for a long time. 
But I said, any nigga I date, and that nigga be like, I got a joke for you. I'ma cut that nigga ass off. That nigga don't be telling me what the fuck you got. Not no joke, nigga. Don't do that. Why you looking at me like that? I just didn't like, I don't like So that. like if they try to give you like, like, oh, you should say this. Yeah, say this on stay, we gonna be gonna stay. I'm like, nigga, what? I just is a turn off to me. Yeah, that's that's comedy though. That's that's how you gonna be in comedy. You know what it turned me up? What? You know who funny? Bitch. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I care? Yeah, no. I think that I don't care. It's just like You don't care. Okay. Okay, they funny. When you make motherfucking steaks all day, you don't wanna eat a steak at the end of the day, man. Right. right? Nigga, we serving up motherfucking steaks. We come to the house, we want goddamn salmon, something different. And you trying to I serve us I don't even like talking about other motherfuckers. And you can't yeah. do as good as me. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. Is there, it's like in any field of motherfuckers, people, somebody gonna, oh, everybody gonna feel like that. You're not about to be in the studio be like, you know who a good rapper? Right. That other nigga that be rapping? Not that saying that you ain't good. Right. That other nigga. You ever, you ever met him? Hey. Hey, he good. He good. He came down here one day. I wasn't here that day. But. Yeah, but I man, don't kind of mean like that, bro. Like you wouldn't go to McDonald's and be like, hey, you know, Burger King got some shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. Don't fuck with y'all. Let's hey. waffle a lot of them. Hey, that, that motherfucker, y'all sleep on that waffle. Hey, Wendy's, come here. Tell him. Don't Burger King got some shit. Shit, too. okay. <laughs> Like, don't do that. Don't do that. All don't right, be trying to compare me. Just let me do my thing. You do your thing. If, we, I, if I want to talk to you about this shit, let me talk to you about it. But I don't know. Somebody had told me they were like, marriage and comedy ain't going to work. Why not? Marriage is comedy. Who said it? A comedian. Then. That's not marriage. Right. Why you be listening to people who I, I mean, they just put, they put Whoever on. said it, shut your stupid ass up. Niggas without the shit that you do First always all, got advice on how to do the shit that they ain't did. Don't even listen to people who ain't funny. <laughs> that's, the, that's some good comedy advice. You if, know that's the criteria, right? If, no, oh, if I they know. have never I made you know. laugh, there is no good advice. That okay, that's true. The fuck would you listen to somebody who not even good at what you do? I know. Fuck we trying to tell That's like, man. You, don't, you, you can't keep your job listening to the motherfucker who don't work there. And I don't. No, I got my own little thing how I go by. I like that. This my own little thing right this, here. This my, I got, <laughs> I got my own little, yes. Yeah, and this, this is my little thing right here. This a bit thing right here, nigga. That's what she said. Come on, man. Come on. No, I'll be here all weekend. But, <laughs> This a big thing right yeah, here, man. I'm so right proud here. of y'all, though. And y'all be holding it down low. You hold the bitch that ain't nobody here. What that means? I'm just saying. I was just like, I do be on this bitch down. I be like, hold on. You know. Wait. Keep the cameras going. Keep it going. Like, it don't that start. And that's good. Then y'all still got y'all same team up here, man. And that's a good thing. Like, being like having a team and people just, everybody playing their part. Ain't nobody getting mad about what position somebody else is in. Yeah, I beat up one of these niggas a week. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That would keep shit going. Once a week, somebody get beat the fuck up. That's why I ain't no more groups no, and shit. No, just so they'll know that I still am able. I am am able. Yeah. You took oh, that James man. Brown shit to heart. Yeah. yeah. Ever since Dallas Austin told me you got to slap a motherfucker sometimes even when they ain't did shit via James Brown story. That's what I took away from it anyway. Shit, man. Yeah. Sometimes I just be like, I look at Jay Owen and I just jump over there and be like, what the fuck was that for? <laughs> music too goddamn loud. <laughs> I ain't slapped nobody in a long time. No. I don't even know the last time I got to fight with somebody. No, that you got a special out. Up. You can't be slapping people now. Once, you're spe once you special, you special. Right. You understand? You got to get somebody else designated slap or to slap somebody for you. For I feel real. like if you really grown, like if you grown and you handling your business, you really don't even know nobody well enough to beef with them. When you go, right. That was, right, where all this socializing hey, come from that, hey, when you I, got all these goddamn enemies and shit? I, I, I know somebody that be on Facebook, they're a relative. Everyday drama. I'm like, how can you live like this? Every day something going on with you and your, and your family or your life. 
Why are they on Facebook telling them about it? What? Telling them folks about it like they can do something about it. Oh, uh, got just cause my goddamn mama out, sister ain't shit. Goddamn nephew got locked up for selling dope out my house. Like, why you are you know telling these is, folks? Though. That's what? people. People get caught up in the in the hype of social media. Attention. That little comment. Fuck them people, I told you. Yeah. Uh, be looking for that. I'm so glad I'm just I ain't never I ain't never gave a fuck about none of that. I don't be. You don't give a fuck about none. I don't of give a fuck about none of that. They probably the first nigga I don't post it on my page and shit. I don't. Yeah. I, don't I don't be standing on that stuff. Nah, that shit is it's other shit. Yeah, People are addicted love. to that shit. You it's it's addicted. You posting thinks, all on the page. Yeah, I post them. Look at my man with his birthday clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. I do he fuck sleep. with him though. He sleep. <laughs> White light sleep. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I do fuck with them though. We finna go to sleep, y'all. Good night, Facebook. I ain't even know that shit was gonna last like this though. Or be like this. I did. I like this nigga really dealing with a bitch. Wait, look, you can always know that you got free marriage counseling right here. We got we got you covered. Yeah, we get great advice. Even yeah, well I need some All advice. All you gotta do is do the opposite. Can I ask y'all something right now? About about men or just in, in general? Relationships. Okay. Relationships. All right. Communication. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay. Men don't like to communicate. I already know. Because oh. we don't have, we don't, like the way that our brain work and retain information is we only remember the shit that we give a fuck about. So we can't sit here and tell you the whole rundown of a lot of shit, but we just be like, shit was stupid, fucked up. I ain't mad, I ain't tripping, fuck that shit. Like we're very short and to the point and direct. Like, yeah, sometimes, Women give a fuck more about shit than we do. We do. We more emotional. Yeah, it ain't about. We don't have a long. Like a lot of shit happen, but a lot of shit ain't important in the average man life. So if I have a long, drawn out explanation of the who, what, why, how, how much, how this gonna affect me, what I'm trying to do, ain't nobody. I'm just got trying to get some good communication skills. Man, what I said is what it is. That's if, all it is. If, if I See, say women that, think that if, if men say, say that, some that's shit, what it is. that it means something else. Men are very direct <laughs> about what they want. It don't take a whole lot of explanation. When I tell you what it is, don't get offended at what's been told to you. Ain't nobody attacking you. You motherfuckers get offended about not doing shit. Right. Because they be, well, don't be telling me to do that. I was about to do that. How the fuck would I know you about to do some shit? That means you want me to think ahead of you. Right. But see, this is the best way to communicate with a man. Tell them what you want. That we spend that we spend most of the guess. communication. Guessing. That yeah, shit kills. We spend too much time trying to guess what the fuck you talking about. It be direct and say it. Say what the fuck is wrong. Don't don't or, or ask for what you want. Or say this is what I want. Be direct. Don't and be take happy. and don't take the emotion out of it. And don't think just because the that's nigga the thing. On emotion, one time. emotion. Like women, we are very emotional. Take like, that emotion he be out like, of it. One time he slid up and said, "I don't give a fuck how you feel. You've got all these feelings." I like. Did he say that to me? But see, this the thing about this. This what it. This what it looked like to a oh man. My God. It's like goddamn. You feel. <laughs> What's that? Oh my God. You was you was going off before that. You was going off before that, and then he said, I don't give a fuck about your feelings, and then you tried to flip it See, to where you it it's made the, it bigger. Oh my God! Yeah. You gonna say <laughs> fuck to me? No, you I said see. fuck to yeah. me! <laughs> he was, he was, he was well, how could say, you say fuck this? You was saying fuck this motherfucker asshole! You said that before! Saying fuck all of your feelings. <laughs> He's saying fuck your feelings about right what now. you talking about right now. Fuck Not how you fuck feeling. All your feelings fuck all how you together. feeling. You mad about this nigga leaving the shirt in the Come bathroom. On. I don't give a fuck how you feel about that. Come on, I about already know. That. I already but know. But you'll take it and be like, I fuck know how I don't know. Know. <laughs> What are we doing in this relationship? <laughs> <laughs> You, she act, she act like her feelings shattered on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, nigga, <laughs> don't know this mean nothing. Look at these feelings. But this feeling don't mean nothing to you. Oh, so that feeling. Damn. In my feelings. Did you just drop my feelings? <laughs> so that's how you treat my shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you don't 
So, so, so did that make sense? That makes a lot of sense. Because. I didn't see that. Because, you know, when you're in a moment and you have a situation, then somebody say, fuck your feelings. I'm like, I, just, mm, just keep it in the moment. Fuck my feelings. Don't see, if you wanted to take it. So, so I'm like, you don't get fucked by nothing by me. No. So you don't get fucked by me at all. No, it's that, so it's that just, one particular argument. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I see, y'all try when, 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 when we say something and y'all want to make it harsh, to make it more harsh, y'all apply it to everything, even though it's about what we talking about right now. Oh. Right. <laughs> My man, see? See, we, we talking about right now. But why y'all don't say that? Because. Why don't y'all say? Because we think. When I say. Because we, we think. Because we fuck think. Fuck my feeling. Fuck my, yeah. When I say fuck my feeling. Why y'all don't say right now? Like, Because we that's what understood. You know how yes. like some when you get to that yes. part of algebra and they be like, this part right. is understood. Oh, it's understood. Like, it's, problem. Like, it's understood. Yeah. They got to trying to get us prepared yeah. to deal with women. When they start giving you the answer, then you got to solve the problem. That's when life got Come on, man. That's when life got crazy. You start having to move the integer. So I got to stay within the moment. And that's another thing. Don't think that a man's supposed to give a fuck about everything you give a fuck about. We give a fuck about the shit you tell us that's important. Okay, this is a birthday. All right, let me give a fuck today. Like, we don't have a whole list of priorities of shit we really give a fuck about. Exactly. Our job is to keep y'all alive, keep some food in that motherfucker. As long as everybody else happy, we pretty much straight. But if you happy with the shit that you have been getting uh -huh. and then all of a sudden you ain't happy no more, then what the fuck wrong with you? Goddamn, huh? Right. I'm out here getting money, we right. eating good, we can fuck, what the fuck right. are you saying? And stop you trying sure to- You don't give a fuck about my feelings. <laughs> Bitch, you told me when we got married, you wanted a new refrigerator in the house and some food. Now this ain't enough, but you don't, God damn it, pick, pick, what you want? What right. you want? Right, and then you, and then to their point, you can't go back to that one time. Mm -mm. Especially once we done talked about it and we done got past, but you said that one time, you like, how we gonna go back to that when we done talked about that and you knew what we meant? And it, yeah, because like, if you hey, love a nigga, don't hey. bring up his old lies. Them, you warn them all. Yeah, old lies. Yeah, you oh, warn all them arguments. Don't bring up what you, time want, you want. Like, you want it, it what you want, what you want, the, the, you want. You want the shit to work, so say what the fuck you mean. Yeah. Don't let a motherfucker have to guess. Stop trying to think for everybody. You trying to think ahead. You trying to think, oh, he did this, so he think that. Y'all be in there on the chalkboard in your brain doing the long equation right. about some shit. Okay, so, so February 14th, so basically, 89, help a nigga get the this. shortest path to your happiness. Dang, hey, y'all gave me some, this some, this some priceless shit. most of the time, a nigga is down to fix whatever the problem is. It's the we just got to know what the problem is. What is it? And then when we find out what the problem is, it the problem's so small that now we mad to the motherfucker that it took too long to get to this problem. So now we crazy. This is what the fuck we talking about. What is wrong? You talking about a can soda? <laughs> it's not about the soda. It's about how you said. That and you didn't say nothing. I don't like it. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. What? Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Walking in the house, cute, and you don't say nothing. You still watching the TV. Cause you ugly. <laughs> <laughs> we don't give a fuck how that shit looks. If you like it, it's cool. You want to go get that little stupid ass ass down? That shit we been telling you to stop with. The same shit that got them hoes down the street laughing at you. I got to come up with a new copy. I like that shit that uh, took you four days to take out last time. Don't you say you wasn't doing that no more. Hey. That's really good, bitch. Hey, hey, man, I remember one time I went and got this ball, man. Me and be looking at most hairstyles like, how am I going to fuck you with this shit on your head? Hey, when you I got in the truck, it was like this. Eric, if I do it, what you going to do? I shout like this. Like your mind, like this. <laughs> like, I said, we don't like it. Hey, man, sometimes. <laughs> what it look like, though? Man, that shit was ugly as fuck, too. What it like? It was like, like door. I, look, I was a ball. <laughs> it was a ball. I look like I'm door. looking like a 60 prostitute. What am I to do, daddy? <laughs> it was like this. Bank and our faces black and white. You look crazy. And y'all know, you know, every man, they kind of, they real bougie, like. We bougie? Yeah, they bougie. So you ain't going nowhere with that bob. Man, I took that shit out the next day. Man, simple. I think a lot of motherfuckers overcomplicate us, man. 
Shit. Yeah, we, hey. I think it's just the emotions of the women that might and this co- another thing make things a little complex. Understand. See, women get to be about 31 motherfuckers throughout a year. They change up every new, new outfit, little hairstyle. They get to be different motherfuckers. We don't like all of y'all. We don't like everybody you pretending to be. If a nigga met you with braids, that's the one he like. Some of that y'all not doing. I'm for not us. about to treat the cute motherfucker with the braids the same way I'm treating you with this goddamn uh, Tim Turner. It's not for <laughs> us. Right. You not her. I'm sorry. Right. Your ass was fatter this summer with them braids. As soon as you took them braids out, you lost a little ass. I'm sorry. So that would it be. He don't like Who that. are you today? Oh, now you're going through your Nicki Minaj phase. Come on. But man. who you doing it for? Because we'll tell you what we like. And, and y'all be like, all y'all be like, mm, what the fuck do you know? And then you do the shit that somebody else told you and it don't is work what out. we like. And it don't work out. Then and be then we'll like the shit. And then this what they this what they do it now. Who the fuck is they? Who is they? And where the fuck are you? <laughs> Bring you back. Bring you back. <laughs> You be man, he been trying to be a little honest this time. I said, I'm gonna get some braid. I'm gonna get the jumbo. Not he like, nah, I don't get them no more. There you go. The jumbo ones. The jumbo. He said, See, I don't get that's, them. No that's more. the communication. My girl had too it. many one time. I said, come on now, ain't nobody go. The this girl ever came back with not enough. Too many. Oh, that's the worst. That's the worst. Mm. That's all I had. All you had. You <laughs> left it on the table. <laughs> Oh, that's the funniest shit that ever happened. You walk up to your girl. I thought you gave me half the other day. I did. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, you better not do me like that. Oh. I'm like, uh uh-uh. uh. Shit. Maybe cool. We like though. how we like it. You got to find somebody that can laugh at you when that type of shit happens. When, when you come down, you, you can tell she don't like that little hairstyle. You be like, Yes, that's how you were in the car. Hey, big head. Shut the fuck up. Then I, stay, <laughs> then I stay down up to about 1 o'clock in the morning in the hood, hood, Mechanicville. Bro, women so petty. I seen the chick take her hairstyle down because the bitch said something on Facebook. The lady who did her hair. What she said? You know how they be. You know women that post the shit and they're like, don't judge me. I don't like it, but it's cool. And then um. the lady who did it said something. It was, under the little post, like that ain't what you said at you know, the shop. Yeah, no, when you you know you know, well you know when bitches show up and they hand wash and then it ain't even really long enough to braid. You do what you can. Oh, <laughs> oh. I don't be on Facebook. I don't be seeing none of this. On shit. Facebook, it goes down on Facebook. Oh, you gotta get on Facebook. On That's Facebook is the best man. Where all your aunties is cussing out your fans. At. Yeah. Um, Bitch, and another thing, I'm his auntie. I know him for real. Yeah, I used to do like a little virtual comedy show. At your house? Yeah, at my house. I remember saying that yeah, shit during the pandemic and shit. Come I, on now. Yes. I'm a fan. Yes, I, I love watch it. Erica does this shit. If I, I, I see you on some. I'd be, I be like, put her on some old shit. Yes, so. yes. So yes. I had that at my house. So, you know, folks in their comments saying a little shit. Somebody might That's say something about my bands. Um, my brother got a nigga. Don't let me pull up where you at, fuck nigga. I said, hey, brother, it's not that serious. Don't don't kill these folks. Let these folks, they going to talk. They going to talk. But my, yeah. my dad be on my Facebook. Your group. dad? He don't understand the real concept of how this works. He'll be under the comments like, Carlos, this your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> do he do it like it's the DM? Hey, hey son, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's me again. <laughs> Oh, do he, he don't say personal shit on that, do he? Mm. He, just, he just always come in. Hey, this your daddy, man. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter what it is. It's just so funny, man. This social media. Hey, man, this your daddy, bro. I can't believe you said that. My son crazy. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, bro. All right. My dad don't be on none. I do. He don't come oh, to none man. of my show. You don't need him now. Mm, I don't. At this point. He nah. Maybe, maybe he don't know. He don't, what, you, you don't, he don't fuck with it or you don't He, he don't want to hear me cuss. He don't want to hear you cuss? That's what he say. Oh. Oh, okay. You got to go over there and just start cussing all the time. Yeah, that's how I had to ring my mom in. Daddy, where your slow ass at? <laughs> yeah, that's how right. they cuss him out every now and then. Mm-mm. They get with it once you get, start getting to it. don't cuss? 
not like that. He don't even know how to cuss. He's such a white person when it comes to cursing. My daddy. What does that mean, Erica? Dag nabbit. What is it? He might he say shit like Dag blessed it. Oh shit. Like he don't know how to cuss. Oh. Like I know how to cuss hard. Like my mom know how to cuss. Oh. He don't know how to cuss. But yeah. I don't even know why I cuss so much, cause my mama don't really cuss like that. Mm. And my daddy don't really cuss at all. It's they, because you're intelligent. They say I get it from my auntie. Yeah, intelligent people say a lot of fucking curse words. You just did a whole goddamn 16 no cussing right there. I did. I don't, that's, a, that's one of them, that's a turning point in the movie. Why don't you ever come to my shows? Cause I don't wanna hear you cursing, okay? Yeah, that was my sister say that lame ass shit, trying to act like this she- This cursing? Yeah, it's trying to act like she didn't want to hear that. on your back, baby. I'm the motherfucker that gets shit popping. If it's fuck shit, damn ass, you bitch. You watch your mouth when you're in my house. Fuck that, pops. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Whether you like it or not, these words get me paid, Jack. It's a seven. So you think you're the first person to ever get paid? You're the first person with money. Shit, in this family, you're throwing your life away, sir. <laughs> Look at me. You're throwing your life away. When I tell you to pick up them $100 bills out the trash, next time, this is the last time you seeing me, Jack, I'm going to cuss my way to start it. <laughs> and you can believe that motherfucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> you get out of my house. You Bitch, I'm your, already gone. You take your little cussing Mama's laughing. Bitch. You see, it works. Mama's laughing. Look at Mama, she's laughing. It works. You don't want to admit that it works. It's working, Charles. It's working. You I mean, goddamn right. I didn't ask you anything. Listen to it's motherfucking working, Mama. You're not going to talk to me like this in my house. Charles. Mother Frencher. <laughs> Just say fuck, your, Maddie. You pick up your little cursing money <laughs> and you take it with you. <laughs> Just say fuck, Maddie. <laughs> That's the name of the place. You take your little freaking money with you. <laughs> Y'all niggas that stupid. That shit's hilarious. Y'all niggas you hilarious. Son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, y'all chemistry is, is unmatched. And y'all niggas ain't wrote no movie yet? We just did. We did, but we spilled right a there. drink on it. Gotta start all over. <laughs> that made me so sick. Gotta start all the way over. For real, boy, y'all. Y'all niggas are we come to Jesus. We just need, like, we need probably like two weeks, some money. <laughs> and some motherfucker to uh, I write be, down everything. I always that come be out. pitching ideas to him. Yeah. I want we because I, I was like one of my favorite shows that I seen coming up. It was about the dude who started. It was a little like HBO movie about the dudes who started breast implants. I feel like we need to do a, some type of movie just about dudes who love titties or something. <laughs> like. Dudes who get their dream jobs and they win like a bra fitting competition and get an internship at like Victoria's Secret or something, or just to come up with a new bra, or secure the titty or something. You really so, love titties. Yeah. You, you want to make it like an old like Skinamax movie. Yeah. Where it ain't hardcore, but the titties are tastefully done. Right. Tastefully it's, done. Yeah. Taste, and we, it's, we're going over and beyond just the titties. Man, do you understand? The nipple. If we could get this bra right. For the ladies with the chunky areola. <laughs> It'll never work, man. It's, it's gonna working. work. But look though, they're gonna be showing y'all like if let's say if the um right. if it's mess, cause you know some women don't have them. That's what that's the turning point in the movie. Yeah, a if lot of women find don't out have that them. Our friend, our homegirl, she got the perfect type of nipples that we need to finish this bra. <laughs> Yeah. Why didn't y'all just say something? Yeah. You know, you got some women that got the nipples and they point out. That's why we need the to be ski like. slope titties. It need to be they go down like and the No, I'm just style. talking about the nipple. The nipple, you know, like the little round yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. But some of them got extensions to them and they stick out. Yeah, they, 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 got, they got two. Them nipples got two phases. 
Like it'd be like the like, regular like, size, like, and like. then they like, <laughs> bah! Like they come on with that. No, no. You said the nigga we got extensions. <laughs> That's the hardest gangster line I done heard this year, nigga. Somebody like, the nipples got extensions. They do. They got like extendos on the nipples. <laughs> you got extendo nipples. <laughs> they do. They do. They do, and they very long. <laughs> I'm about to get. Okay. You see, this is a Skinner Max movie. It's Somebody want it. You want me to pick another? <clears throat> yes. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's this black dude who has some money for this, this drug dealer, right? And then he give him the money back, all the money that he left him back, and he didn't steal none of it. So he's handsomely rewarded with this money he's been protecting. And it changes his life. Total chaos. I'm thinking Will Smith on this one. <laughs> Maybe Jamie Foxx. Okay, so is it, um, where's it set? Okay. I see Jamie. Okay. Give me a second here. Because what I'm about to tell you may sound a little crazy. Negroes right. in the future, it's, it's hard to sell. It's not in the future. It's in 1994. What were Negroes doing at that time? 90. Nobody knows. That was Freak Neat time. <laughs> Untouched era. Oh, there we go. Okay. That was Freak Neat era. Untouched era. I've heard of this. Especially since Hollywood just found out they losing about a tri $10 trillion or some shit. Ten, what is it? Yeah. Some, by not putting us stupid, in shit. Yeah. By not letting us make movies. They don't by missing out. It's a whole demographic do. they missing. Oh. Andrew Parks needs a movie. You see what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah. That's what's going on. Trillions. Trillions. They missing. And they giving out trillions. No, they just no they're not giving. They're being so racist, they just don't even want to make They don't money. want that money. Imagine leaving trillion dollars on the table because you don't feel like letting black people uh, direct and do the whole production. All right, I got another one wow. on the pitch. Okay. Making their movies harder to sell because you're worried about how shit going to do on the globe shit. Because now, this shit pitch is going to be a little harder because the title is kind of shit. But think E.T., <clears throat> right? E.T., but with a black family. Now, the kicker in this one is E.T. never returns home. He actually grows up and goes to high school. <laughs> His name becomes T.T. <laughs> and he actually grows up and becomes a star basketball player on the team. And he's just explained that he just has severe eczema. <laughs> <laughs> it never comes out that he's Nigga. And it works out to his advantage. How well, tall is your he? Brain, man. How tall is he? That's the thing. He's a basketball prodigy because he stands right at about, at full growth, seven foot six inches. <laughs> no shoes. <clears throat> That's crazy. The only thing about it is he has seven toes on each foot, which makes him ineligible to go to college. So but he can that, play basketball. Well, exactly. The whole point of this move is for him to have a senior city, or like a senior year good enough for him to go straight to the NBA. Mm. And he's ET, so he's perfectly capable of doing so it. So it's an allegory of sorts. Yes. But mm. the only thing is, he's distracted because allegory, he's with the prettiest allegory. girl in the school. And she's about to go to, you know, like FAMU or some shit. And she's not really interested in being in a long distance relationship with ET. Because she kind of figured something was up with him, but it's like he want to keep her, so he tells her that like, "Hey, I'm special, I'm ET," and she's like, "Man, whatever. I done already accepted your skin, so now it's not the right time for you to be like insecure." Your about skin. Him. Yeah, because he ET. He still look like ET. <laughs> but he so tells like, she thinks he just got so extra. She really think he just a project dude. All right, whatever. You like okay. <clears throat> Scratch the whole whatever. You, you you want them to call the Sci-Fi Channel? Yeah. Okay. I'm just throwing shit out here. I got something for every network. He got something. You can sell it. What okay. you got for ABC? ABC. Check this out. <laughs> this is perfect for ABC. America has an obsession 
with proper, t let me line this up properly, with thick black women. Okay. We need a thick black southern woman cooking competition. Well, not only they prepare food, but they just compliment each other throughout the whole thing. Nobody can mm. compliment you like. I got it, I got it. It's, it's church ladies, it's the women of Brewster's place meets Meat. the British wow. Bake Off. I'm hold thinking up, more up. like Bruce the, the women place. of Brewster Place with the Brit. Can you beat Bobby Flay? Okay, mm. competition, but you got to throw the nice compliments in there. So the British version where they not mean, yeah, not I that like Gordon the Ramsay, version. not that cussing people out shit. It's got to be like I'm having a quite good time today, right? Good time making a talk. But now it has I, to be why they British? Southern why black lady. Cause that's I'm saying. Oh, that's okay, the competition. Okay, okay. okay yeah, the yeah. Example, right. but then they real Southern black ladies and they go on. And they like, baby, baby. baby. You said ABC, but I, I want Fox to have a. Yeah, I was gonna say that's more like a Fox. That's more right. like Fox, cause they got the Hill Kitchen shit. Okay, so ABC, boom. This is where they had Thea, right? Thea had a show. <laughs> All right. So look, once again, America has an obsession with thick black women. What I'm doing? It's time for Monique to get a sitcom. Yep. Bringing Monique over there. Back. That's what I'm pitching. Another there. one. Yeah. Okay. Monique. Monique is gonna pick up where where Roseanne left off. Remember Roseanne? Okay, got remember Roseanne? Yeah, yeah. 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 They, the they took her off the show. Yeah, yeah. Off our show. They, they took her off the show. Like she is, she did the Parkers already, right? Yes. She so she know what to do. She, right. So look, the, let's just change the whole cast. And right. You you want to do it? So no, there's a Monique. Be Monique. Who will we have for um Dan? Mmm. Oh, the daddy. Rodney Perry. Well, I, I was just thinking Rodney Perry. I don't know if that's gonna work. But if that's if that's the route we gotta go to do this, it's not gonna work. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why it's not, you know so, why it's not gonna I can't get into why it's not gonna work. Let's just scrap that. Let's just, just scratch the whole thing. We're spitballing here. Let's let's go back. Okay. Let's just go back. Maybe right. not. May, okay, so let's just pitch the concept. I don't have to get specific with this. With so the cast. Think think think. Thick black woman. Okay. Okay. Cool, jazzy, <laughs> snazzy intro. For some reason. Okay, visualize with me. She's, oh, she's oh, cooking oh, breakfast a lot of times. Oh, why is she? I see a lot of breakfast no. in this. Okay. But the breakfast is the glue that holds this show together. Everything's chaotic. Niggas need Until biscuits. Until it's time to eat again. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas need grits. Right. And, I, I, and that's one thing that I think that we are missing. Ooh. Shows with big black women. Okay, that what I just think came up. Y'all know, like, the, um, what's that? When they be fighting. MMA? Uh-uh. Boxing. When the girls be fighting that reality show. Oh, bad like girls, bad girls club. club. Yeah, right. Old hoes club? Huh? No, not old hoes. What? <laughs> No, this is what I'm, I'm seeing. This, like we were saying with the thick girl, I'm trying to find a network. I'm I didn't want to say like big women. I'm just saying. You just say like it. for luxuries. Yeah, but luxuries. Yeah, those women. Okay, we get them. Curvaceous. Okay, like he was saying with the complimenting each other, this what the whole thing's supposed to be about, a whole bunch of luxuries women. And they're supposed to compliment one another. Mm. But you're going to have a hating ass one. That's the breaking point. That's already understood. You don't even have to include that in the pitch. You okay. I mean? Yeah, yeah, shady business. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. so I, I can got see one that. Too. It's a show about black mechanics. First episode, first season, they don't even have to fix nothing. It's just a, a whole rundown of them telling people what's wrong with their car. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole show. They Look pull at up. Come here. Look at this. See that white loose. I can fix it. You want me to fix it? Okay, I'll fix it. Yeah, shit like that. That shit is great. Whole engine gotta come out of there. That shit is great. Now, I knew when Bobby pulled up, I, I can smell the oil. Man, you need to do something with all this in your head. You got uh, a lot of shit in uh, your after, head. Uh, you, it's, it's first season. Tell you now what's wrong. Now, fix shit in season two. Season two, fix the shit that's wrong, and then show you what else they found wrong. <laughs> then three. Is paying season three. Don't nobody pay to season three. <laughs> Cause that's a whole nother. Hey man, uh, <clears throat> you know your cop been up here, but it's ready. Man, it's one o'clock in the morning. All right. <laughs> I got storage fees, $30 a day. 
Starting right now. You got ready. <laughs> they need more black shows, though. We missing that content. Yeah. Oh, you know man. what else? Okay. Think National Geographic. Old black people. Fishing. Just giving you life advice. Mm -hmm. Come on at one o'clock in the morning. Give you life advice. Right. Mm -hmm. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah, you know these young people be in such a hurry to just, you know, fall in love and thing, man. Yeah. Take Enjoy time. your life. You know, you find you a nice woman who clean and take her bath. <laughs> you enjoy her company and stuff. Oh, there you go. There you go. I knew that some bitch was over there. Hold on one sec. <laughs> yeah, shit like that. Why? Let me tell you something. Your mind is, you have a, like a million dollar mind. Mm. That's why I'm putting this out now so they can see it. And they'll be ready. Put it out. My microphone fucked up again? Nope, that shit done fell out. Man, your tape ain't shit, kid. Hold on, wait, wait, hold on, wait. I'm, wait a minute. I can do it. I got it, kid. I got it. Just believe in me one time. Believe in me. Believe it. This tape ain't even sticky enough. We gotta get you some stickier tape, my man. How I sound? Sound better? Sound like the titties right now? And your son, the tape stay sticky. What what y'all had on papers? Yeah. Oh, we got some comments. Comments. Oh. Comments. You know we just had Bruce Bruce on here. I know, man. I love Bruce Bruce. Our birthday the same day, February the 4th. So somebody said, Bruce Bruce is an icon that should be protected by all means. Much respect. Yes. This podcast is for everybody who grew up watching Bruce Bruce, but didn't know he had a 40-year-old son. These niggas be young. Damn, his son 40? Cat, Chef James said, they never gonna let long ass short pants die. They stay giving cat hell. Cat got the longest shorts you ever seen. Yeah, he said his youngest son about 35 or something like that. Oh, okay. I love you. I love Bruce Bruce. Bruce Bruce. Everybody does. I wish I was, I went into comedy then when they was at the 559. J.O.N. high over there asleep. You see that? <laughs> Bro, this is, this podcast, this they said this podcast is for J O N. He over there look like he just need a hug. That nigga is high most of the time. I don't know why people act like you the stepson around here, but that nigga be cool and high. He just he be chilling. Like he real cool. Hey man, y'all think I just be saying random shit? But somebody said yes, sir. This podcast is for blind people that can only hear the show and still be cracking up with a lot of enthusiasm. They love it. Who wrote the comment? <laughs> he did. How did he know what it said? got blind type. Uh, you know they got keyboard. this that um keyboard the thing keyboard. where Ray Charles had. They can go to the ATM. Hey, shout out to this guy. He, his screen name is John Wilson. Said this podcast is what keep military deployment life just a little easier to get through. Stay blessed. Shout out to everybody in the military oh, that man, has been watching and supporting. Shout out to my son. My son in the military. You are supporting your son in the military. Uh, Which branch? Army. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. This says, I'm from the UK, London, and when I see this black un unity, it makes me so happy. From old to young, the young showing respect to the old, the old showing respect to the young, eh? Listen, bro. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. We bro. love our British brothers, bro. Okay, Ben. Listen. This, said, this podcast is for everybody that's going to wait until the last minute to get the damn vaccine. That's crazy that this is a comment that was selected. That's crazy. I just edit that out. They might flag the whole video about some shit like that. Beep the end. <laughs> just put the... Oh! Do that. Uh, somebody said they love us, bro. That's it. Love. He's on some that's it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Saw Stacey's dad trying to be black again? Yeah. Fuck all Come that. On, she said she's sorry. No. Do y'all accept her apology? No. Sorry no. for what? You she... were sorry when you was doing it. No. You were sorry when you was doing it? No. You knew you was doing wrong. No. Don't come back over here. No, little Stacey. What you want to be in now? Uh-uh. No. We ain't got nothing for you. No. Not right mm. now? No. Maybe not. Maybe not never. No. Nah. You supposed to say, no. No, no. We can't see her, man. Oh, no. Who else they on council? She did all that shit. Everybody council. I know. Um, what about that girl um, from Wild and Out? Who? She sent an apology letter to everybody she apologized to. Who, Mimi? Uh-uh. The, um, 
the rapper girl. You know the one who went a while out and was crying and shit. Oh, her, she her. did what? She, you ain't said she sent her um, a, cause apparently now she engaged. So she wrote a letter out to everybody that she was sorry to. On who? On, she just wrote out and put it on the internet. Oh. All the list of people that she want to apologize to. Who she apologized to? Everybody except for y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I know y'all. We were never saying. looking for it. I know. Because she tripped, because it wasn't nothing. I'm just saying she She canceled. spazzed. I don't know, that was weird. I would apologize to everybody, but everybody ain't worth apologizing to. That's don't cool. apologize for shit you meant to do. Yeah. I love y'all though. When, oh yeah, that's what the thing, Carlo. I used to be all in DM, especially when y'all had the 85 South show here in Atlanta. I like, Charlotte, let me get like five minutes for the ladies, you know what I'm saying, represent. And she said, sing. What you trying to say? Well, you he ain't, ain't let them get back. down. He ain't no reply back, say Why you ain't let him get down? I mean. Then I did, not on the deck. I call it phone. Then I send him a text like, hey, bro, let me get like five minutes. We in the city, then my city. You know what I'm saying? Then my city too. Let me get five minutes representing for the ladies. But what what do you mean represent for the ladies? Just have a lady comedian, cause you got all the oh, openers, men. But, but what you mean? What I what you mean? Represent for the ladies. Yes. You wasn't with me shooting in the gym. Nigga, I was a little bit. Uh uh-uh, uh, not when I was in the gym. Bro. Not when you in the gym, pop. I was in the court, nigga. I was on the court, <laughs> nigga. Don't be, don't be goddamn like you fronting me. Like, hey, what happened? <laughs> ain't, ain't shit happened. Right. You think I was planning my shit? Like, man, I hope Erica show up out the blue and do one, do five minutes. Let me leave No, I said it before that. when I knew y'all were coming to. I seen the list of the show that were coming. Look. I, I went and shot my shot in, yeah. Then they was like, just come up there, eat. I came up there. I was like, hey, I'm here. I'm like, yeah, sit your ass down. We're about to start this. <laughs> <laughs> One more outburst, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I know. <laughs> yeah, I see you with it, you know, with it. Sit your ass down. Yeah. Not Are you y'all. trying to work? Oh, we got to hurry up. They better kick us out of here. That fucked up. I know. Yeah. I love y'all, don't you? But you on, the, you, on the, you on the short list. I right. seen the short list. It's short. It's a short list. Okay. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. That's what's look, up. If it's some, look, just know this. If it's some traffic on 285, and then somebody say, I'm 15 minutes away, and we know they really ain't, and you there already, we're going to be like, come on, Erica, just go ahead and start it, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's Damn. Short, that's how short, <laughs> short the list is. Damn. Just like give you an idea of where the list was at. You on a... That, that, that's, that's, that's the list is tore off. They ain't even no short list. <laughs> nigga, they ain't even no short you, list. You at the oh, top of the long so list. So you mean to tell me that ain't better than when you go to the restaurant and try to get the table and they be like, huh, take this and we'll let you know. We'll buzz that motherfucker when, it, when it's time. <laughs> I told you exactly where you was at on the list. This shit shorter than the barbershop line. I got one more than you. Yeah, that, phrasing like that. I know. That was the other phrase. In the chair I got one more than you. That yeah, means yeah. three. Yeah, in the chair and there's one more yeah. than you. Yeah, you gonna go, you gonna with the person who don't fuck with you. When a nigga don't fuck with you, don't show up. Then the nigga that you know, Lord, you be like, let me call E. She gonna pull up. Whatever. Mm. You gonna be able to get there faster than them because your husband can just pull you right up and drop you off. <laughs> I'm gonna park the car. I'm just telling you my name, baby. What is that? For real. Nah, but we appreciate you coming through and fucking with us, man. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I know. Eighty-five Make sure y'all follow Erica, man. Yes. Tell her congratulations in life. Yes. And I got my David Banner knife. Let me see you open it up. Damn. That motherfucker ain't playing. Why did he give you that? Because we from Mississippi and we need shit. Oh, like yeah. That. I forgot. Nah. Yeah. Y'all be black. We out here.